Hey y'all, and welcome to the Lady Wing Designs channel. My name is Zakia, and today is Wednesday, November the 18th, 2020. I hope that you're all doing really well. Um, as you can see, this is another Craft With Me video, and I thought that this one, uh, it would be nice to have it be knitting. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, I hope everyone's doing well. I am working on, hold on, let me get a few more stitches on here. So I am working on my half and half triangles wrap by Pearl Soho. It's a free pattern, which is one of the reasons why I'm working on this. Um, it's not that you can't do, you know, these like craft with me videos um, with paid for knitting patterns. I just... I just prefer not to um, because I feel like I am filming the pattern essentially I that makes sense I think um, yeah so I just prefer not to do that with paid for patterns um, personally um, but yeah anyway so this is a free pattern I am using two different skeins each of Rita May yarns which are the two this uh, light color here and the orangish color on this side are from Rita May Yarns and the tonal colors, the red and the brown, are from Lolo Did It. Um, and all of the colorway details will be in the description box below. Um, yeah, so it's Wednesday. I am basically still waking up uh I don't know why I keep doing that with my craft with me's but I just like to wake up and and get the recording out of the way so yeah you get you get uh rambly not properly functioning just yet Zakia but that's okay um if anyone I don't know if you can see it at all because the yarn kind of passes right over it but that super gross thing um, yeah, I, so when I was setting up, uh, before this, I, I had the, I usually keep my tripod set at the same height, uh, because I typically use it like at one height really. So I usually just leave it there and I hadn't recently, um, cause I haven't been using the, the tripod to film clips for the vlog. Um, I've just been holding the tablet lately. So I let the tripod down, you know, put it up, make space on the floor. So I go to <laughs> let the tripod back up. Uh, I mean, literally like 10, 15 minutes ago and got my finger in one of the little like clip thingies that you, um, one of the ways that you let it up. It's not important. <laughs> Like I said, I'm still waking up, so I can't exactly think of the words anyway. But yeah, so, you know, I was like, great, do I even knit now? Because I don't want them to have to stare at this, like, disgusting looking thing. But between the fact that that is the finger that wraps my yarn around the needle and um, just that the yarn is honestly, like, I mean, not there, but like, it seems like it's generally crossing over that spot, so you can't see it too well, so it's fine. Plus, I, I really just wanted to knit for this one instead of stitching. Um, yeah, so this is, this is my regular knitting speed. For anyone that's wondering, I'm not like... I'm, I'm, I'm literally just knitting and, and chatting. Um, that was the other reason I wanted to do knitting today because I am still waking up <laughs> and uh, I don't want to mess up the pattern right now and what I'm stitching on so there's that so um, let's see if I can slow this down because I haven't gotten questions asking how I knit but um, you know somebody might ask and I not gonna lie I find the way that I knit very fascinating um, so, okay, let's do this. Why not? I, I'm in the mood. So, there are two different um, general, I don't, I don't want to say general, but like, there are two kind of like, see, even Maine doesn't sound right. 
you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> there are two types of knitting. It, there are more than that, but for the purposes of this conversation, there are two types of knitting. There's continental, where you hold your yarn in your left hand, and there's English, where you hold it in your right. Um, and thinking about this, so I was watching uh, Shiloh, X Stitch MD, yesterday, her latest episode, and she shows, because uh, she's a left handed knitter, and she shows how she knits. Um, and, you know, so, well, you might not, but left handed, um, because she is, she's literally knitting left handed. Uh, let me, where's my yarn here so I can show you. So I am working my stitches from this left needle to the right needle, right? Like that's how I'm transferring stitches. And she does it the opposite way, which makes sense. Um, I have, I've seen like videos of left handed knitting before. Um, but anyway, it made me think, like, because she holds her yarn in her left hand, but she is going, like, the opposite way. So it made me think, like, would she be continental still because it's in her left hand? Or is she English because, it, I don't know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Technicalities. It would just nerd things. I was like, that's very curious. But anyway, um, so where do I want to start this? So a lot of people, when they learn, uh, well... Well, yeah, that's right. That's the right way to say it. A lot of people, when they learn to knit, they learn English. Um, so you hold it in your right hand, and a lot of people will throw their yarn over the needle. So they're picking their hand up off of the needle um, to throw their yarn, and then they come back. And honestly, I love the rhythm of throwing. Like, it's very, it's very rhythmic. Um, yeah. I actually love it. I haven't. Maybe I'll do my habitation throw like this. I think that would be fun. I also think it would take me forever, but maybe that's not a bad thing. Because <laughs> unlike this one, I just, I get so attached and then I just don't want to put it down. Okay, maybe I will, maybe I will throw on my habitation throw because maybe I'll throw on the throw. That's nice. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, enough of this, because apparently I really like that motion. It's very rhythmic. And it, I think it'd be easier for me to keep my general gauge, too, if I would were to throw like that. But anyway, so you can also... There's also kind of a... Kind of a level up, if you will, um, to knit a little faster. Um, it's called flicking. So, same thing, only you, f and I'm not quite as good at flicking, because I'm not an English knitter. But, um, you, hopefully y'all can see that there. Insert, and then instead of picking your hand up, let me get some more yarn here. Instead of picking your hand up off the needle, you flick your finger, and it wraps it. Now, um, the few times that I've, like, done color work flicking, it's a little harder for me to keep my gauge, because I... Because I don't do that normally. Um, and when I was knitting color work, I knit with one strand in each hand. Um, and I can sometimes kind of figure out the flicking because of that. Um, yeah. So anyway, there's that, right? So throwing and flicking. Continental, again, yarn in left hand. Um, a lot of, well... So, um, a lot of people like, like me, I was a crocheter before I was a knitter. So even when I was looking up tutorials on YouTube for how to knit, I'm sure that most of them were holding the yarn in their right hand. But this was natural for me because when you, you know, when I was crocheting, I'm right-handed crocheter. So my yarn's in my left hand. So this was just natural for me. Um... Yeah, so that's that's just what I did. So a lot of people um, refer to continental as picking because um, I guess generally you would insert your needle and pick the yarn, right? With the needle. You are picking up the yarn. I'm looking at my hands and not the camera, so <laughs> I'm glad everything's in, in uh, frame. But anyway, um, right? So you're picking up the yarn. I am not a picker. Um, I am what I like to call a continental flicker because my hands never leave the needles. As you can see, my 
like I, I don't even pick really with this right needle. Um, and it's weird, like trying to slow it down, but I literally, cause I was like, oh, maybe you are picking and you just can't tell. No, I am flicking my left index finger. I insert my needle, I flick my finger and that's how I knit. I, yeah. It, yeah, I just love it. I absolutely love it. So yeah, that was kind of a, a little rundown of that. Um, there you go. We always, well, not always, but um, knitting conversations come up a lot on uh, Michelle Bendy's lives. And yeah, you know, it usually will bring up at some point English and continental and all of, you know, throwing and flicking and all of that. And yeah, I... I love it. I am a continental flicker. So there is that. Um, but yeah, I am really loving this knit. I, I just love it. I'm really excited for it to be done. Uh, it is getting close. It's just that the rows are longer now, you know, naturally. Um, so this pattern, it's called the half and half triangles wrap because, and I won't necessarily be able to show you a lot of this on camera, but you can see here, like it's, so it's going to end up being a, we'll say a rectangle because I'm not quite sure it'll be a square. Uh, <laughs> another nerdy point, rectangles or squares are rectangles. Rectangles are not squares. If you need me to explain that, I can't. <laughs> Uh, one of my favorite, like, nerdy clarifications from geometry. But anyway, um, yeah, so this is like that halfway point, essentially. Um, you knit, you cast on down here, and then you uh, decrease stitches via wraps and turns. I know I'm showing this to you kind of weird. Um, so you're decreasing this way, and then you do some magic here in the center to start you back down here and then you increase this half of the blanket which is you know it's two triangles to make the rectangle but anyway yeah so i was saying that to say um these rows are getting long again so i'm getting there but it is still going to take just a little bit longer um yeah because you know there are more stitches to knit but I, I'm really loving it. I'm excited for it to be done so that I can see what size it is. Uh, I was talking to my mom about this and I think that I'm going to, I think that I'm going to uh, try to figure out colors for a spring and summer version of this. Uh, I have, I'm not quite sure what colors I want to do yet, but I think that would be super cool so that um, cause I mean, I use my, I use my knitted items year round. Like I wear hand knit socks all year. Yes. During the summer. Like I, I'm so serious. Uh, I wear hand knit socks all year round. Um, you know, like it, it doesn't bother my feet if like, because I live in Alabama, um, a lot of times during the summer, it's hella hot outside, which means the air conditioning is probably freezing on the inside. So, you know, I, will sometimes wear my shawls when I'm inside. I'll wear my cardigan, which I have on um, right now, my Rosemont cardigan. So yeah, like I, I think that I want a spring and summer version, but I'm not quite sure what colors yet. Obviously there needs to be a green in there. I really want some blue for summer we shall see we shall see um let's see what else can i talk about um i don't know what is everyone working on um or doing while you're watching this maybe maybe you're cleaning being responsible and things um yeah what are you all working on let me know down below 
I do want to take a minute to say thank you to everyone that has um, that has so kindly supported the channel uh, via the see now I'm not in frame again via the uh, buy me a coffee link or buy me a pattern that's what I'm calling it right um, but yeah anyway the links down below um, thank you to everyone that has already supported the channel um, you'll see this before uh, the vlogs go up which I have still been recording uh, have no fear. I was like, what's the phrase? <laughs> huh, struggle. But, um, yeah, so I was able to, yeah, because you haven't seen that vlog from when it happened. But I was able to buy my editing software again uh, for my laptop. And, I mean, for complete transparency here, I bought it on Thursday night, Friday night. I think it was Friday night when I bought it. And I just, yeah, I honestly haven't felt like editing all the little clips and things, but I have still been recording and that is actually going to be one of my jobs uh, to do today because I have to work this weekend and next weekend and next week's going to be crazy anyway. Um, like I said, I have to work this weekend, so I'll work Friday and Saturday and then Monday I am meeting up with my dear sweet friend who is giving me the spinning wheel. Uh, we're meeting on Monday to uh, transfer that and then uh, and then what else? And then you know Thursday is Thursday is Thanksgiving slash my birthday. Um, and Friday I'll have to work again and then Saturday I'll have to work again and then on the 29th I'll get to like sit down and rest basically I mean I'll have you know I'll have a few days rest next week but it's just gonna be busy um I, I can just feel it it's gonna somehow end up being busy and that's okay it's it's holiday season it's all right but um yeah, so I'm going to be working on editing the vlogs today and getting them uploaded for y'all. So don't be surprised if you get, obviously you'll get a notification for this and I'm going to assume that you're here. <laughs> um, you know, if you're listening to me, you found it. Uh, so there will be this notification and then you'll be getting the ones for the vlogs pretty back to back. Um just because they're vlogs like they're not very long uh and when I do show notes for the vlogs because I'm I've really just been talking about kind of the same projects every time I just go to a previous vlog and copy <laughs> the details and then paste for the show notes so it doesn't take too too long uh really like the longest part is is YouTube uploading it honestly um and we'll see if I might even be able to Hopefully, because um, Filmora does have a feature where you can export uh, directly from the software. At least they did on the last one. I can't imagine why it wouldn't be on this one. Um, it started going a little... It stopped working in the last one. At least for me it did. So, you know, like I said, I'm hoping that that feature is still a thing in, in this version. Um, yeah, so that... Because then that would make it easier, right? I could just edit the episode and then, because I need it to convert the file anyway, because they use, at least before they had like their own file type that YouTube doesn't recognize. So that'll be nice. Hopefully I can do that. Um, and then I just, like when I go to export it, I just type all the description stuff right there and it will upload it all for me. Regardless, the point is you'll be getting several notifications. Um, I am going to have to combine two days, or, well, there will be two vlogs that have two days in them. That's a better way to say it. Sunday, this past Sunday, the 15th, yep, and uh, Monday, the 16th, I, both days I didn't really craft all too much, and I only took one vlog clip on each day so 
Sunday's little clip is going to go with Saturday. So, you know, it'll be like a Saturday, Sunday weekend type thing. Um, and then Monday's clip will go with the stuff from yesterday, from Tuesday. Because, yeah, I wanted each day to have its own complete own video. But uh, those two days would be like 30 second videos, maybe, if I did that. <laughs> So I yeah it it's just smarter to put them with a with another day, um yeah and that's that's fine it happens like that um I'm still going to list it <laughs> in a way that when I look back at this you know however later I do I'll be able to see like yes there are 28 videos but you still did every day. So yeah, I'm really, even though I haven't, you know, I'm a week behind now on posting the vlogs, I'm really proud of myself for, for sticking to it um, this long. I, I honestly thought, y'all, that I was not going to be able to keep daily vlogging, but I'm really enjoying it. And I'll just go ahead and kind of sneak peek for anyone that's, um, whoops, well, that's wrong. Okay, let's fix that. There we go. Okay, it's really weird. I am literally, um, I'm just glancing up at my camera to make sure that I'm in frame. I am looking at my hands to actually knit, so. Which is interesting. A lot of times I will look through the camera, but, well, not necessarily. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so kind of a little sneak peek. I am thinking that I'm going to do Vlogmas. Um, now they won't be, okay, not that these November vlogs are like super extravagant or anything, but I do like, I try to, you know, I really think about like, oh, I could vlog this or, you know, I should show them this or whatever. With, uh, with Vlogmas, it's just going to be... Um, I, I want to do Vlogmas so that y'all can keep me accountable <laughs> on some projects. That is literally why I want to do Vlogmas. Um, I'm not going to tell you what projects are happening right now. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to right now. We'll save that for another time, a little closer to a little closer to Vlogmas. So like next week, basically, that's what I mean. Because we're almost there, y'all. How is that even possible? Um, but yeah, so I've got two, yeah, two different projects that I'm going to be uh, trying to focus on for December. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say right now. I, I am a big believer in don't tell the whole world your, your plans because especially for me, it's hard enough to stick to my plans already so if I tell y'all I'll probably for sure change them so y'all have seen it happen plenty of times if you've been here for a while so it's gonna be okay I'll tell you you know I'll tell you we'll talk about it when we get to it but it's gonna be fabulous it's gonna be great y'all I'm so excited um not necessarily for Christmas just for the just for the advent things that I'm doing. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. And no, I didn't, I didn't get a yarn advent this year because money, um, back earlier in the year when everyone was talking about them and signing up for them. Cause there was one that I really wanted to get cause it's Quidditch themed, uh, you know, Harry Potter. Uh, the, so w the one that I got last year from teeny button studio was Harry Potter. And it was postcards from Hogsmeade was the theme. And this year she did Quidditch. <sighs> We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> this is the only time I'm going to talk about it. And let me just tell you, I am very sad that I was not able to get it. And she had like three or four rounds of selling them. I just, I was literally broke every time. <sighs> so it, yeah, it's okay. Honestly, I should have just asked my parents to get it for me as like, hey, this could be my birthday present, but I don't know if I did and they were just like, I shouldn't say that. They have their own things to pay for, but <laughs> <sighs> it's fine. 
it's fine. It's going to be okay. I'm really just sad because this is the first year. I've had an advent calendar the last three years. So this is just going to be really weird. Like I don't, I don't get to open one this year. And you know, all these cross stitchers now are getting into knitting and they all have advents and yeah. I, um, uh, real life, real life stuff here. I have a serious, I have a whole thing with FOMO. Like, I used to think that it was just like, oh no, I just like knowing, you know, all the little details to things. No, no. Like, that is it. I do like knowing the little details behind things, but I just have bad FOMO. It's ridiculous. So yeah, it's okay. Um, I have, that. that's kind of where my, my December advent plans kind of came from. I was like, well, how can I keep myself excited and make myself feel like I'm doing advent, even though I'm not going to have like new advent yarn. So I'm excited about the plans that I have thought of and it's going to be okay. I feel like I'm just all over this screen with my knitting y'all this is crazy yeah it's because I'm like because I'm knitting so if I am looking at my hands I'm looking at my hands and not the camera right and then uh because I'm knitting I don't have to look to just straight up knit so like I'm looking around my apartment and because one of the advent things is uh in the living room here so I'm like looking over at it and looking at blah 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 and you know my hands just move accordingly so sorry if I'm like all over the screen I imagine that if you are listening to me you're probably not watching me knit and it's cool if you are I hope it's entertaining for you um I so true story I used to um back before I found uh so I didn't find floss tube until after I had already started stitching. Well, yeah, about around the time when I was started stitching. Whoops. Sorry, y'all. Um, okay. <laughs> and I didn't need that alarm because what it was reminding me about, I already accomplished. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. Amy, creativity by Gidge. I just had like a total, what was I talking about? Like wiped my brain clean that alarm did <sighs> right right before <laughs> before podcast so I found floss tube right as I was starting uh to stitch which was two and a half years ago now and oh y'all oh my gosh uh between this week and next week it is my I don't know the exact date but I have now been knitting for seven years that is crazy I I taught myself how to crochet in October of 2013 and I taught myself how to knit in November of 2013 so yay craft adversaries I'm here for it is that is that a term that we use yet craft adversary because I'm here for it I like it it's very it, it's generic in a way that any crafter of any type could use it I like that um yeah right right the videos <laughs> y'all are probably like girl get it together i told you i'm still waking up i can't help it <laughs> it takes me like a full hour and a half but anyway um before i even found knitting podcast uh i i loved to just get on youtube and look up like knitting tutorials or crochet tutorials and just watch someone do the thing um you know obviously there are ones where people have it done to music and they don't talk there are of course a ton where they you know are telling you what to do as they do it and such um yeah that used to be what I did like for fun like as I was crafting if I wanted to like have something on to watch I would literally look up crochet and knitting tutorial videos um, and there's, there are a lot of them, like I would look up like, oh, how to do, um, there was one lady, I don't remember her name now. If I can, if I can find her channel, I will link it below. 
I just remember her name started with an S. I don't even remember her name right now. But she did. No, no, I don't. I don't remember it. Um, I'll try to find it. But she does um like a a bunch of different patterns, uh, crochet amigurumi patterns. And amigurumi is a a Japanese term. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it's Japanese. Um meaning a stuffed knitted or crocheted a uh, toy so ba basically a stuffy um yeah so she had she did monkeys there were elephants she had a bunch of different animals and i liked to watch her videos um with her making the different animals and yeah just like just generally different patterns um Yeah, it was, I don't know. It's very interesting that, like, that's what I did. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, one day I was on Facebook. This was a while ago because I was actually talking on Facebook. But um, one of my best friends, there was, some, there was some post that she made and she, like, tagged three crafters in it, people that she knew uh, were crafters. And... Uh, one of, you know, we all got to talking in the comments, of course, because it's like, oh, you craft too. And uh, one of the people told me about Katie from Inside Number 23 podcast. Uh, it's a knitting, well, crafty, but mostly knitting podcast. Totally recommend. You should check her out. And uh, yeah, that's when my podcast, knitting podcast world was, was opened up. Um with Katie from Inside Number 23. So she was my very first uh, knitting podcast. And oh, yeah, I absolutely love her. Maybe one of these days I should go back and sorry, I'm like re-situating re myself at the beginning of this round. Um, yeah. So highly recommend that video or, or channel rather okay so um yeah i i noticed what i was at for my time and my tablet will like cut off after a certain time so i just stopped it and started another video it's fine <laughs> i might not be fully awake but i'm feeling very chatty today um yeah, so anyway, highly recommend Katie. Uh, if anyone's wondering, my very first floss tube was uh, Priscilla and Chelsea, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I don't remember how I found them. I think that I just looked up like floss tube or cross stitch. I'm not quite sure. Um, I, I really don't remember what I typed in that first day, but they were the first uh, channel that I watched. And yeah, you know, it was a giant, I can't remember who I watched after that. I want to say that, I want to say that Michelle Bendy was like my third floss tube. Uh, so I think, I think, I really don't remember. <laughs> this was two and a half years ago now, but I think that after Real Housewives, I want to say that the next one I found was Primitive Stitcher, Suzette. Like, I, I can't remember if she was exactly the second one. But I think, I I want to say she was definitely one of those first, first people. And then I think from Suzette, I think that's, I heard her mention Michelle Bindi Stitchy. And I think that's how I got to Michelle's channel. Which, of course, then just opened the floodgates. Because um, I, I think the first person that I started watching recommended from Michelle's channel was Diana It Is Kismet. Um, which, you know, these years later is like, of course it was. <laughs> because we all know how, um, how much they love each other and, you know, how uh, close of friends they are. So you know, two and a half years later, it's like, of course, of course, that's, of course, that's who I <laughs> first watch off of Michelle's recommendation. <sighs> all the memories, all the memories. 
So, okay, I think, I think we'll do just a little bit more here. Maybe I'll finish this, um, this garter bump. So down and back. Ah, what to talk about for a couple more minutes. Um, I don't really know. Yeah, I mean, really, it's just, I'm, I'm just trying to enjoy November, honestly. Um, yeah, keep, <laughs> trying to keep my head on straight, trying to enjoy my, my favorite month of the year. Um, we had fall. It's now basically going into winter. Uh, we, so we had fall and then we had second summer. <laughs> Like we always do. Like, I, I was not surprised by that. I think I was surprised by how much of a second summer we got this year. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's more of the shocking thing is how long that second summer was. I feel like, I, I, at least to me, I feel like it doesn't usually last that long. And like, we go back to having fall weather for a little bit and then it gets cold, but um, yeah, like at, at 10 o'clock, I think, or 10 30, uh, I was looking at the weather, um, and it was like just getting to 60 degrees for us here. Um, so yeah, it's, it's getting chilly now, which, you know, sadness but also not sadness because now I really have a reason to wear my knitwear whenever I go out um because I mean most of the times if I am leaving my house I'm going to my boyfriend's apartment like I'm not I'm not going a bunch of places or anything um but yeah you know I have all the excuse now to wear my hats and wear my shawls and you know I always wear my socks so that's not that's not a big difference um yeah, I, I'm not necessarily looking forward to winter, but I'm excited that, that I'm getting to use more of my hand mitts now, or that, that part is coming at least. So it will, it's all going to work out. It's all going to work out. So this one will be a little bit of a longer craft with me today. Like I said, I was just, just feeling a little chatty. Um, and I, I totally saw the time there before I like stopped it and started another one. I was like, oh, you could probably like get in a quick goodbye, like just make it one take or one uh, video clip. But I just I just didn't feel like rushing and cutting myself off. So it's fine. Um, yeah, plus it's giving me just a little bit more time to knit on this project um yeah because when i when i get off of here with y'all i am actually going to be getting prepped to uh prepped oh my gosh <laughs> basically i just need to put clothes on and figure out which crafts i'm taking with me um yeah but i'm going to my boyfriend's apartment um there's a restaurant here in town i think they're fairly new um I think he said they open sometime this year. It's a wing place, chicken wings. And um, they have a deal on Wednesdays where it's 25 cents a wing. So of course we're gonna we're gonna go see about that. Or he is, he's gonna get them. He gets off work early today. Um, so yeah, he's gonna go get the wings and we're gonna meet up at his place and chow down and just hang out for the day. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I hope that everyone is having a really good Wednesday uh, so far. A really good week so far. <sighs> Y'all, it's November. I, I'm, I'm very content. Um, so this last little bit that I do want to say, so I guess I'll do more than, than down and back. I'll have to start another row. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, woe is me. I have to start another row on my project. <laughs> uh, anyway. So a lot of people were, um, especially in the States, I mean, 
I don't know about anywhere else, I guess just life stress in general for a lot of people. But in the States, you know, we just had um, our presidential election and a lot of people were like um, stressed and just overwhelmed and such the week of the election while we were, uh, you know, waiting on the results. And I did not have any of that. <laughs> My first week of November was fabulous because... I, I did not pay attention to the news. I like, I didn't want to know the only thing that I wanted to hear about were like the cool things, right? Um, black gay men getting elected to offices. Um, the first, of course, I don't remember anywhere that, that these things happened, but they happened. Me and my mom were talking about them. Uh, I want to say it was Delaware, uh, with the first trans, but see, I don't remember what position it was. I'm horrible. <laughs> but you know, all the cool things like all the first that were happening and all of the um, people of color that were being elected and such like, I, you know, I wanted to hear about those things because that's super awesome. And heck, yes, like it was positive. Um, but the actual like presidential election, I did not, I was not paying attention to at all. Um, I think me and my boyfriend, I think we looked at the results like Thursday because we were both like, huh, I wonder where it is. So we looked um, on the Google and then we immediately were like, okay, cool. And then we got off and we didn't look at it like we didn't know anything else until Saturday when the results were announced and our our moms actually both contacted us <laughs> around the same time to, to tell us the results. But like, I, I had a great first week of November and, and that's not to, like, I don't say that to brag or to like make anyone else feel bad or anything. It's just that, um, yeah, like I, I just knew I was like, I already didn't watch any of the town hall. I didn't watch the second debate that they had. Like I didn't just know. Like, I just, I just wasn't going to put myself through that um, and the stressing. And, like, I was like, you know, at this point, we've all voted. It's going to be what it's going to be. So my first week was great. <laughs> um, the second week was a bit tougher for me, just, like, personal things going on. Um, nothing, like, nothing major or anything. Um, just, I, I'm on a new medicine. And, yeah. It's, you know, side effects and things from changing over. Um, but yeah, like the second week was weird for me because of that. And it kind of leaked over into this week. But I, like I noticed yesterday, I'm just very content. I am, I am feeling great. <laughs> November has done wonders for me, um, surprisingly. And I'm just glad that I, oops, see, see, not in frame. <laughs> I'm just glad that I am feeling this content and this happy and just, yeah, I'm here for it. Now I just need to motivate myself to adult. <laughs> I have some things I really do need to be getting done. Yeah, I gotta, no more excuses, no more excuses. I need to take care of things now, so, and I need to figure out um, presents for that end of year holiday that I refused to talk about before, like, December 1st. <laughs> ah, give me November, people. That's all I ask. That's all I ever ask. Can I just, can I at least just get through Thanksgiving, right? It's okay. I get it. I get it. In other parts of the world, like, it totally makes sense too, right? Especially, like, Canadians, they've already had their Thanksgiving. I get it. You're totally just like, it's Christmas now. I get it. It's okay. You can't help that we celebrate things late here. It's fine. Um, okay, so uh, I am going to wrap and turn this stitch, knit a few stitches past this, and I think we're going to call it a day because this video is like 45, close to 45 minutes now. So... I hope that, like I said, that everyone's doing really good. I, um, I'm going to go get ready to munch on these wings because I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully the restaurant is good because, um, like I said, it's fairly new and we haven't tried it yet. 
So hopefully their wings are really good. I'm sure I won't remember to, <laughs> to tell you about them later, but whatever. All right, I've done way more than a few stitches now. See, this is why I can't like stop knitting on this project. It's literally just, I love it. I love this project so much. All right, I will uh, be seeing you real soon. Like I said, look out for notifications for a bunch of vlogs. Um, like I said, I do have to work Friday. So my goal right now, I'm hoping that I will be able to get most, if not all of them, uploaded within the next couple days. And I know that that's a lot. Um, it, uh, notifications, especially because I'm uploading, you know, a bunch of different videos. But keep in mind that these vlogs are shorter than like this video. So you'll be able to kind of binge watch through them uh, if you are watching the vlogs and want to catch up. But yeah, I just, I want to go ahead and get back on track with the vlog that I'm posting so that I don't have to feel like I'm rushing the rest of November, like I'm behind. So I'm going to try to get caught up um, between these next couple days and this upcoming weekend, uh, aka, well actually, no, no, aka Sunday. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. There might be some that I can get up Saturday night if I uh, still have some to do, like after work, but I'm probably not going to want to uh, work <laughs> once I once I leave uh, the stadium. So anyway, be on the lookout for a bunch of vlogs. And all right, we're seriously going to stop now. <laughs> we'll get to the end of this row. How about that? For real this time. And then I'm really going to stop because <laughs> I said that last time. Ah, craft your bliss, people. Craft your bliss. Do what is making you happy, what is bringing you joy. I hope that everyone gets some time to make or just relax and, like I said, enjoy something you enjoy doing, whether that's crafting, reading, painting, journaling, walking outside, um, whatever that is that you need and that brings you joy i hope you get to do it so one last little look here so you can see this is where my wrapped stitches my last wrap stitches and that's how many stitches i have left between there so i've got i've got like i said <laughs> I'm, I'm really, I'm not that far off, like, number of stitches wise. Whoops, sorry. Um, stop hitting the tripod. It's just that, as you can see, these rows are, they're long again, which I'm enjoying. It gives me more time to work on it, but I'm ready to be done, I think. <laughs> so I can, I have two, oh, y'all, I've got so many cardigans and sweaters planned. December is going to be fabulous. <laughs> So, all right, until we chat again, happy crafting, y'all.